So this is me filming with a whole different shirt that I wasn't planning on filming with. The original shirt that I had on, unfortunately, foundation decided to just splatter all over it, which you guys will see. And I had to change, but hey, everything happens for a reason because this is cute. And do you guys see I highlighted over here? I want it to be extra today for sure. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with a foundation review. I will be talking about the brand new foundations from Fenty Beauty. I'm probably the last person to review this product, but hey, better late than never. And I'm gonna give you guys a demo of this foundation as well as my full review as I've been testing it out for about four days now. And I've tested it out in so many different ways with so many different primers, different foundation um, brush and sponges and yeah we're just gonna go right into this and let you know how it worked out what do you guys think I know this this makeup looks beat though and um <laughs> so I'm gonna go straight into the demo portion and then I will be right back with my final thoughts to prime I am going to use let's see let's see I'm gonna be using my Touche Clot uh, primer from YSL. This primer, I really like it. It's like this really nice like smoothing effect to the skin. Like your skin feels like silk. It's so beautiful. Mm. But it's expensive. And here we have the foundation in the shade 310. Now this is definitely not first impression. This is a full review. I have worn this multiple times. So I am gonna squeeze about three pumps of this foundation right here. Look at that, we're not using the back of our hands. Hey. So with this foundation, I do use a combination of a brush and a sponge. Um, I don't know. I just feel like the brush keeps the coverage, but it leaves a few streaks. So then I go in with the sponge just to smoothen everything out. And I feel like that works a lot better because when I just do the sponge, it absorbs a lot of the product. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to go ahead and grab this product and put it on my face. And just so you guys can see what my skin is looking like, we are dealing with quite a few breakouts a lot of redness going on um over here i have some scarring from a pimple that i had for a while and the scar is still there um we have discoloration around the mouth area dark circles because you know we be working so hard we don't have time to sleep i am going to use the fenty beauty foundation brush this is the 115 mine is dirty because i um have been using it and this is what it looks like over here so that came out with the foundation also and i really just i love the the look of her brushes they're so cute they're really different it's so so cute and this brush is very, very soft. It's not like super densely packed. It's actually super soft. So now we're gonna go ahead and blend, but where's my mirror? Okay, so I'm back with a mirror so I can get a closer look at what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and start blending this product. And when I first blend it, it's not bad. Like it definitely blends um, well, but I do feel like it gets quite streaky on my skin so I have to really work in this product with my brush and then go over um, certain areas with my sponge. So here is the product just with the brush and when I look really close on my skin I still see like some lines and streaks from that brush on my forehead and on my nose area. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to pick that up honestly but I do see it in person. So I like to take my sponge. I do take a little bit of product from what I pumped out and just kind of go over certain areas. This way I'm also adding coverage where I need it. So like upper cheek area. 
it does pill, build up quite nicely. It definitely covered a little bit more of those um, freckles that were peeking through. I just like to kind of just really push that product in to the skin as much as I can, right? Oh my goodness, are you kidding me right now? Wow. I just put this shirt on. No! Okay, we're just gonna ignore the fact that I got some foundation on my shirt. <laughs> I don't wanna talk about it. So here is what the foundation is looking like on my skin. And honestly, I'm gonna try and insert some videos of natural lighting uh, because studio lightings do deceive you and kind of hide certain imperfections. But this is what it is looking like. Now, when I look at my mirror, it does look good. And I definitely have to like finesse this foundation in order for it to look um, pretty seamless on my skin. Otherwise, it looks like it's just sitting on top of my skin and it looks quite textured and dry so going in with a damp sponge is really important at the end for me to really push that product in and just warm it up on my skin and let it kind of melt in so it becomes one with my skin and not like two separate things and it just it's not a cute look now on my nose area I don't really find it too flattering I do feel like it just looks it just looks a little much like certain areas where I have texture or I have dryness this foundation definitely picks it up like right here in between my eyebrows I have a lot of texture in that area and over time I can definitely see the texture and my nose area doesn't look the best um my smile lines are already starting to crease which is <laughs> not great so I'm gonna apply some concealer so you guys can see what it looks like with concealer and then powder as I do with all my other reviews I think that's super helpful just to see how other makeup layers on top of a foundation so I'm gonna be using the cover girl this is the true blend undercover concealer I haven't used this in quite some time I've been obsessed with my L'Oreal one so I put this down for a bit but let's go ahead and give her some shine okay Ooh. I forgot how great this color is. That looks really good. It's nice and creamy too. And then to set that concealer, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is definitely my go-to powder. It just does me so well every single time. I'm gonna press that in. So with this one, setting powder in the smile lines is a must or it will crease in a matter of minutes and just not look great throughout the day. It will start to separate right in my crease area. So I do apply a good amount of powder in those areas because this is more of a hydrating foundation. It doesn't look um, super dry because of the powder. And um, once I go in with my setting mist, it um, it kind of takes away like that powdery dry look. I, I, I do struggle with this foundation. I'm not going to lie. I really do struggle with the foundation. I have to finesse it to make it look great on my skin. And even then, it's not... It's not my favorite look, to be honest. And just the amount of time that I put into it is... <laughs> I'm kind of sad. I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish off the rest of my makeup and we will talk some more about the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Foundation.
now let's talk about the foundation and all my thoughts and all of that good stuff. So this is the brand new foundation from Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This retails for $45 and there are 50 shades to select from. Fenty Beauty is no stranger to the inclusivity um, realm and they have a ton and ton of shades to select from in their base products. You literally for anyone, you will find your shade. So I love, love that about the brand. So my shade is 310 and it definitely corresponds with 310 from their first launch of foundations, which was the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. They're pretty much um, spot on the same and they match me really, really well. So if you know your shade in this Pro Filter, most likely it's going to be the same shade. Um, you might have to go a shade up or down because it is more of a luminous foundation it's a totally different formula sometimes the shades get a little bit tweaked so um, just keep that in mind but honestly I think they correspond really really well so not hard to find your match if you already have the first one I am actually really really obsessed with this packaging I love the idea of a squeezy tube it's nude you can see the um, color of the foundation and we have a pump we have a pump with a squeezy tube whoever whoever came up with this design did amazing i love this because this is super convenient to store to travel with it is not gonna break or anything like that it still looks really beautiful and high end but just like more user friendly more travel friendly and the pump lets you have the control of how much product you want to dispense genius absolutely genius so on the website it claims to be a long wearing foundation have a natural finish it's supposed to be great for normal to dry skin and it's supposed to be very lightweight in an everyday foundation now my experience with this foundation i'm going to be completely honest i love the brand i love their concept i love what they've done in the industry of really showcasing diversity and just making a, a mark for themselves in the beauty industry i support that brand fully and i really wanted to love this guy so so much i watched a ton of reviews and 90 percent of them were positive reviews in my case i have to be honest and say that it did not work out for me you guys are seeing me in front of a lot of lights in my face and it really diffuses any flaws that you have on your skin so i'm going to start inserting clips of me outside in natural light so you can really see the true um look of a foundation on my skin because all of this is really deceiving guys i look pretty flawless pretty glam but when i go really close my skin looks quite textured it looks a little bit dry and it's just not a foundation that i would gravitate towards i've tried so many different foundations drugstore or high-end that sit a lot better on my skin than this one unfortunately this is just a no-go for me it didn't work out at all and i tried this with various primers i've tried this with the becca primer i tried it with the ole henriksen face primer i tried it with the ysl touche eclat primer i tried it with the fenty beauty primer and unfortunately it kept giving me the same exact results which was that it just didn't sit well on my skin i tried to exfoliate and everything before applying the primer it's just not working out on my skin um when i initially apply it it blends pretty nicely on the skin but then i start to see that it's kind of just sitting on top of my skin like it won't really just become one and mesh and just like look like skin it i feel like it just looks like it's on top of the skin it looks quite makeup-y after like the one hour mark which is right now for me it definitely looks really really makeup-y on my skin it doesn't look super skin like to me at all okay um another thing is that it really emphasizes on texture and fine lines i have texture right here mainly my t-zone area so down the bridge of my nose around my mouth area is quite textured and this foundation really emphasizes on it like there's no 
hiding the texture and my smile lines are already cracking and I've had this on for about an hour they probably started cracking within the half an hour mark and you guys saw in the demo portion that I really powdered this down and try to set the foundation so it doesn't um, give me those creases and it happens every single time if I don't powder it it starts to separate in this area if I powder it the creasing area just looks dry so it just it, it, it's not working out no matter what I do um how I apply it I have applied it with a brush I've applied it with my favorite brush which is the Morphe E31 and I've also tried a sponge and it just doesn't look great on my skin unfortunately this is a foundation that is just not for me it's definitely one that i wanted to love and just rave about but i have to be really honest with you guys that's why you guys sit down and take the time out of your day to watch these reviews because you guys want honesty this is honestly one that i'm gonna have to pass on unfortunately i would I would prefer to use this guy over here, the first foundation, because this one, I could really hydrate my skin and it works well for me because it is definitely more of a matte foundation. But once I really prep my skin with a hydrating primer, my skincare and all that stuff, it looks beautiful on the skin. This one, it just doesn't matter what I do. I can't get it to look great on my skin unfortunately i will say that the foundation is very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the skin or anything like that um it does have a nice creamy texture to it it is a medium to buildable coverage um i don't feel like it's going to go super full coverage but you will get a decent high coverage out of this foundation it layers really nicely um when you're just, when you are trying to build it up and um yeah those are those are the positive aspects of this foundation if it works out for you it's going to look gorgeous um it like i said it layers nicely it has good coverage it has a nice texture it's lightweight on the skin and the packaging is absolutely bomb but unfortunately this formula did not work on my skin that's it guys thank you so much for watching leave your comments down below and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more foundation reviews and i'll see you guys on the next one ciao